Всем привет, это ВК Лайф, и у нас в гостях самые долгожданные гости недели. Это группа Мьюз. Буквально за несколько минут до концерта мы встречаемся с ребятами, и задавайте свои вопросы, мы будем спрашивать их в прямом эфире. Привет, ребята. Welcome to VK Live chats, and uh, the fans will be asking questions live in the comments to the video. В этот раз вы прислали огромное количество смешных и забавных вопросов, и мы начнем с них. А сколько часов вы спите в сутках? Uh, how many hours a day do you have a sleep for? <laughs> Today? Today, for example. For example. Um, not many. Не uh, очень I много. A good solid seven. Uh, семь хорошее число, если получается семь. Как получится, четыре-пять в среднем иногда везет и десять часов удается поспать. Татьяна Голик вас спрашивает, а какой ритуал вы выполняете перед концертом? Do you have any ritual before you do before going on stage before the shows? Something between you three only. Seven hours sleep. Speech is always song. Um I don't know. I think we all probably individually do different things before we go on stage. You know, I kind of I try just to relax and think about the gig. Then also warm up, maybe do a bit of exercise. Yeah, I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> Wipe the food off my face. <laughs> wash my hands, that kind of stuff. Uh, for gig, um, yeah, I have like a routine. It's not like, um, what do I do? I have to eat like three hours before the gig. I can't eat too close to the gig. Otherwise, my f I feel too full and stuff. Uh, what do I do? Um, an hour before, I have a shower. I have a shower. Is that the kind of thing you mean? Yeah. <laughs> Is that it's not really a ritual. Is that a ritual? Yeah, yeah I have a shower. Um, I do some stretching, you know. Um, drink lots of water. And um, a couple of lines now. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then I do um, what else? I do something. Oh yeah, I do like a little, like a little running. Mm -hmm. You know, like I like for like ten minutes or something. What about you guys? No, I usually do uh, a little bit of a workout and a period of calm and quiet before the storm. Ну, дом сказал, что он любит немножко релакснуть, расслабиться, привести себя в порядок, вытереть что-то со своего лица, как они сейчас это сделали, только что помыть руки и позаниматься. Мэйджер сказал, что очень приятно поесть за три часа до шоу не позже, чтобы было легче петь потом, а, и, конечно же, побегать, поделать какие-то упражнения. Крис сказал, что он тоже за воркаут и физкультурные всякие упражнения, ну и, конечно, просто насладиться тишиной за несколько минут до шоу. Это как затишье перед штормом. Это очень приятное чувство. Вопрос от Ирины Контровой. Um, ваш самый безумный и необычный фанат, фанат, которого вы запомнили на всю жизнь? Uh, the question is, do you have any, like, the craziest fan you've ever met, which you still recall till the end of your life, like someone who was absolutely mental? Do you remember somebody? Yeah, I've met a few, yeah. I, I, think, I, I don't think I've had any, but I think you've had a few. The... Uh, There was, the, there was always the painting, wasn't there? Yeah, the, yeah, the, the, the painting, painting was... Is that, they were Russian, weren't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us. feeling they were Russian. There was one Russian fan who, who many years ago, uh, painted a picture of me naked, uh, <laughs> painting, like an oil painting, with a, like a gothic painting, with a, with a crow on my shoulder. Like, it was like, it was kind of weird. Body art, yeah? It was art, yeah. А, да, был фанат, и, судя по всему, они русские ребята, он говорит, что это был русский человек. Twice I went to, uh, I went to bed in a hotel, many years ago again, and uh, uh, not in Russia, this was in uh, London, and I woke up in the morning, and there was a, a girl at the end of my bed tickling my foot. Ага, nice. She broke in, she broke in, so that was quite scary. Да, ну вот первый фанат, про который мы это все рассказывали, это русский очевидный фанат, очень давно, который нарисовал маслом картину, где Мэтт был изображен голым в очень готическом стиле с вороном на плече. Такое было стра странное. А второй раз был в Лондоне, когда он проснулся от того, что фанат, пробравшийся в номер, щекотал его за пятки. Оставались ли вы в какой-нибудь стране без денег, незнакомой стране, и что вы в этой ситуации делали? Кирилл Мельников спрашивает. Uh, have you ever been left in some foreign country with no money at all? And what have you done? Many, many years ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I traveled. I traveled around Europe with no, nearly no money. With camp, like a camping trip. Does that count? I wasn't left there. I chose. Mm -hmm. I, so I wasn't like abandoned. You can't really count. Um, ended up on an, a small island in Greece that was no, had no people living on it at all. It was empty. And we got there on a boat. I 
was there for like three or four days with no money, nothing. Um, but I wasn't left there. Have you ever been left anywhere? I don't think so. No. We've never been abandoned in a country. <laughs> <laughs> so I think there's been the odd time where <coughs> we've driven off in a tour bus and one of the band members wasn't on it. I think she, that's uh, that that's that happened to you. <laughs> yeah. We probably thought Chris was on the bus <laughs> and we just drove off and then realised he wasn't. That, where was that? Maybe that in was Scandinavia it, or no, something? No, I think that was in England. I think it was at Bristol Services. Oh, right. Okay, yeah, well, so we left Chris <laughs> at the services. <laughs> Pre-mobile phone days as well. So it was like, I think, I think the only person that had a mobile phone was probably Matt and the tour manager. Mm. So it was like I had to find a phone box to you know, put money in <laughs> to call the bus to come back and get me. Ну, это начально все сказал, что он путешествовал когда-то давно по Европе с кемпингом, с палаткой, но это, наверное, не считается. И потом ребята вспомнили, что их никогда не покидали, нигде не забывали. Но была история, когда Криса забыли, когда они сели все в туровый автобус и отъехали, все счастливы довольны, а потом сообразили, что кого-то не хватает. И поскольку у него не было денег, ему пришлось из телефона автомата кидая туда монетки, звонить турменеджеру и Мэтту. Это единственные телефонные номера, которые он помнил, оставшиеся в Бристоле в одиночестве. У нас есть вопрос от Катерины Лыфарь, и она спрашивает, какая песня заставила вас сожалеть о том, что вы ее написали? Is there a song which you wish you'd have written, but you were not the author? Uh, feeling good. Feeling <laughs> 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 good. Um, that's why we play it all the time. Uh, what else? Uh, I like some so songs by Tom Waits. Actually, he's written some songs that have got really good lyrics, uh, like Blue Valentines or um, Take It With Me. What else? Um, yeah. Rage Against. There are lots of Rage Against Machine songs are really good. That I'd love. Mm. I, I could never write that. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Uh, Мэтт говорит, что, конечно, песня «Feeling Good», поэтому они все время ее поют, потому что они жалеют, что они ее не написали. И песни Тома Уэйтса, конечно, которые очень крутые, и их можно переслушать бесконечно. И практически все песни «Rage Against the Machine» группы, которые очень классные. А сейчас мы попробуем попросить ребят перенестись в прошлое. Uh, Рита Егорова спрашивает, uh, каким был ваш первый концерт, какие ощущения вы помните, на что это было похоже? Uh, when and... What was your first show like? Do you have like very special memories about it? Very special. Yeah. About three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The first show was um, it was like a what do I say? It was like a contest, wasn't it? It was um, battle it was a bands. like a battle of the bands where you know, you play um, you play a few songs and some people decide who's the best, <laughs> 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 which is you know kind of ridiculous because we were up against lots of different styles of music. You know, it was we were we were very kind of like rock heavy rock. Um, and we kind of dressed up very gothic, and um, and but we were against like funk bands and God knows what else, probably like uh, you know like local music in Devon where we're from, uh, and we won it though, so it was kind of cool that we won. But we just kind of went on stage and like caused a scene and smashed up all the gear, and uh, and somehow we won. And we I think we played like the only five songs we had at the time, but that was uh, that was one of our first performances. <laughs> Первое самое выступление, которое, не помню, это был какой-то глупый конкурс, в котором они решили участвовать, глупо, потому что там были музыканты абсолютно всех жанров, но тем не менее они соревновались за право стать лучшим, и ребята играли в каких-то готичных одеждах, одеты, сыграли всего пять песен, потому что больше у них не было на тот момент написано песен, и они выиграли этот конкурс, поэтому классное воспоминание. Забавный вопрос от Максима Дегтярева. Что вы чувствуете, когда на вас сыпется куча глупых вопросов? How do you feel like when you get asked a lot of silly questions? Um, I think silly questions are the best questions. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, we, we definitely prefer like fun questions to like from the fans. Because sometimes we do like a lot of interviews and like people ask very like you know deep political complex questions. You know, which are which are good as well. But sometimes it's nice to have more fun questions. But you know, we like it basically. Yeah. <laughs> Чувствую себя прекрасно, обожаю э, дурацкие вопросы, смешные вопросы, потому что очень много интервью, где задают глубокие вопросы про политику, что, в общем, тоже хорошо, но веселее, конечно, о чем-нибудь таком легком поговорить. Риз, э, Риза Албухаиров спрашивает, тур по России слабо, например, в Сибирь? I would, love to, I would love to do a Russian tour one day. We, we don't have a plan to do it, but one day I would like to do it. Uh, I know so a couple of bands have tried. Uh, I'm friends with uh, you know, Ilya from um, 
uh, Mummy of Trolls in that band. Yeah, I, I, he's, 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 done, he's, done, he's done many tours here. And uh, he's, uh, he lives in Los Angeles. I met him there. And he said that doing a tour here is a lot of fun, you know. Uh, you can do like maybe seven or eight shows between Moscow and Vladivostok, you know, like some different mm -hmm. cities. Um, I think it's, uh, I think, I think uh, the complication is the traveling of the equipment, you know, like cause we, have, we have a lot of the stuff, you know, so I guess we need like um, long drives over the trucks because it's such a big, big country, you know. Uh, <coughs> so I, th I think we, I think we've, we did a Russian tour, we, we, we couldn't do it with like um, the show like we have now, like this drones is too, is too much equipment, you know, because I think the, it, it would be difficult to do it across Russia. So if we did a tour of Russia, we'd have to do it more, probably a more um, simple production you know mm -hmm. because uh, the distance is so big and uh, otherwise we'll have like a you know 50 trucks that are just like driving for days into Siberia you know <laughs> with nothing mm -hmm. <laughs> nothing to do in between so um but yeah but I think uh did 30 seconds to Mars come here I think did mm -hmm. they do a tour did they or not maybe, I don't know maybe. I'm not sure yeah. have many I think they did a few Mars. Yeah. have many have many bands like western bands toured in Russia that not you too many placebo had a very big tour yeah. uh 30 seconds to Mars had a big tour yeah Hertz has toured recently. Hertz, yeah. Hertz. Yeah. Well, I think I think we'd love to do it. Yeah. I'd love. I'd, I would love to do a tour that goes across Russia, and then goes into like Vladivostok, then to Asia. You know, mm -hmm. uh, like one big tour. I think. But really it's very cold there. Yeah, yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, totally. Мы говорим, что они не планируют пока, но очень бы хотели в какой-то момент сделать тур по России, огромную до Владивостока, с кучей городов между ними. Но сейчас проблема этого тура в том, что очень много оборудования и его физически очень сложно по времени переправить из одного города в другой, то есть этот тур бы российский занял бы очень много времени. И э, если делать российский тур, нужно, конечно, планировать, чтобы продакшн был попроще немного, и было меньше всего вести, а не 150 грузовиков, траков, езжающих в Сибирь, это было бы очень странно. Вот. Хотя очень было бы интересно. Конечно. Самое главное, что ребята намерены прийти к Владивостоку и не бояться холода. Нам пришло огромное количество вопросов из Беларуси, один из них я зачитаю, от Юли Соловьевой. Do you know about such country as Belarus? You know, we are looking forward to see you guys. In addition, I want to ask you, uh, what are your favorite TV show or film? Um, we'd love to come and play in Belarus. <laughs> we've we've certainly, uh, you know, we've talked about it, and uh, but we're, unfortunately we haven't made it so far. But we would love to go to Minsk and play. Yeah. Did, you, did we ever play there? No. No, we haven't played. Yeah, no, we've never yeah. played there. Yeah, we we tried to play everywhere we could with this show, you know. Um, but this this show we can only work in some venues, you know. Um, but yeah, we'd love to play Belarus. Uh, is yeah. Belarus, Belarus, and, and what uh, about TV show? Oh, TV yeah, Game of Thrones. I love, I love Game of Thrones very much. That's my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Well, my favorite film, I might, it might be Pulp Fiction. Mm -hmm. I saw that again recently, and it reminded me of how much I like it. Breaking Bad was awesome. <laughs> Bad. Just you know, there's lots of good stuff on there. Yeah. Twin Peaks, best TV show. Yeah, that's a good one. Ответ на первый вопрос. Конечно, бы хотели сыграть в Беларуси, приехать в Минск. Пока еще ни разу не получался, и в этом туре он просто не устроился. Любимый эти шоу Мэтта — это «Игра престолов». У дома это «Криминальное чтиво» — фильм, и «Breaking Bad» по-русски я забыла. как Но все знают этот сериал. Да, «Breaking Bad», и Крис согласился тоже, что это его У нас буквально шоу. пару минут до конца. Мы попросим ребят пожелать что-то пользователям ВК перед своим последним концертом в этом туре «Расти — это точка» и ответить на вопрос, что вы будете делать, если завтра начнется зомби-апокалипсис. Uh, Бежать. <laughs> I'd just become a zombie and join in, <laughs> I think, and I'd start chasing the people around them. I'd be ready. I'm ready. I'm like, I'm prepared for that. I have, every, I have, every, I have everything you need. Everything, my house is full of all the stuff you need to survive a zombie apocalypse. So yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> До дома мы это наполним всем, всем, что нужно при зомби апокалипсисе, так что проблем не будет, все готовы, группа готова. And please say the last words to the fans who are gonna watch your Moscow show tonight. <laughs> Um, hey, well, we're excited to be back here in Moscow. To, this is our final uh, show of the tour, so we're, we're happy to finish it here. And I guess the fans that are in Moscow have always been great, in Russia in general, so we're, we're definitely very happy to be here. Yes, always very excited to be here. We've, uh, some of our best uh, concerts have been, ever have been in Moscow, I think. Yeah. 
because the crowd is so enthusiastic, you know, and so we love coming back here. And uh, yeah, can't wait to see you. And we're, we're very happy we're doing this thing, DJ's page thing. We set it up because we realized that in Russia you have your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> we're a big, not much only cooler, Russia. Cooler, yeah. So uh, we're glad we set this up. So we're hopefully going to be sending all of our social media things we have are going to send into uh, VKs as well. Is it's the it biggest VKs? in Europe. VK. VK.com. VK, yeah. VK.com. We'll be getting all of our stuff. So yeah, so uh, hopefully you'll see more from us there. So guys, осталось буквально пару uh, моментов, минут до концерта. Все идем туда. Спасибо огромное, ребята, что сегодня были с нами. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us.